Good morning. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Good evening to friends in North America and hello to anyone watching on replay. My name is Nancy Hetker and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. And today I am still figuring out how to best do stuff in my new craft room as I have recently moved to a new house. Um, unfortunately sorry i'm st still having trouble with facebook not letting me go live landscape which is very frustrating but bear with me hopefully they'll figure that out soon good morning jenny thanks for joining me today okay let's jump in i'm actually not planning to do any stamping per se this morning, um, but I am gonna show you this fun fold card. Uh, I found this uh, from Karen Henderson, who's a British uh, demonstrator. And I thought that was a pretty cool fun fold. So I did one using the, what is this? Hello Irresistible. Um, hmm. Now my feed wants to say that it's ended. Can you comment if you can still see me? Because my feed says it's ended. But I think I'm still going. So if you can still see me, please send me a message in the comments. Okay, still on, this is good. Hello. Okay, so this fun fold um, shows off your designer series paper or you could do whatever you wanted there. Um, and then you've got a spot for a message. And you can fancy all of this up however you want by adding you know, more stamped images. But I just wanted to, I did this one as a model, proof of concept to make sure that I could actually follow directions this morning. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm just using the designer series paper. This one's Hello Irresistible, um, but the one that we're gonna make together is using uh, Countryside In. And I've gone ahead and cut my layers. Um, and I am liking this uh, predominantly boho blue and then I cut uh, Night of Navy layers for it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a boho blue card base. And I'm, oh my goodness, gonna see if I can get this to, yes, reload here. So I can follow what's going on. Okay. Um, and then I've got my cheat sheet. I will, um, in my blog, I will have measurements in both metric and imperial and a link to her blog where she gives all of the info as well. So this starts with a 24 by 14.5 centimeter card. So let's do the 24. So this is not a standard card base, but that's okay, because it's fun to make things. This is 14.5. And then she says score at 10 and a half. Oh, I'm way off here, so you can't even see. 10 and a half by 10 and a half and 18 and a half centimeters. And like I said, I will have, she's also given the imperial measurements, which is useful for me to be able to pass on to you. And then we're gonna make the stair steps. Um, so this one gets cut at 
12 centimeters. So what I do is I line up the left edge at 12 centimeters and I'm gonna bring in, oh, no, this one's the shorter one. So it needs to be at 9.5, right? Yes. So I'm gonna cut from the top to that score line. And then I'll go ahead and cut down on the score line. Cut out the step. There we go. And then on this one, this one is the one that's at 12 centimeters. I'm going to try to line up right at that score. You can actually see there's a little mark on our scoring blade where that's going to be. And then I can just go straight up there and then come back in and again line it up. And there are my steps. So I can put this away. And that's going to be our concertina. Now in the US, we would call that an accordion fold. Here I've noticed they've done, or a fan fold. Here I notice a lot of times they do use concertina like the British, so that's what I've gone ahead and labeled it. So that's it for the fun fold. That's pretty simple. Good morning, Lorraine. Thanks for joining me. And now I'm gonna bring in the layers. And I'm just gonna glue those up. I love these blues too, Paula. And I'm not a huge country country person, but they've made it modern and cute enough for the most part that it doesn't bother me overly much. I did go through all of the designs this morning and tried different combinations and permutations to figure out how I wanted to do this. I really don't think of balmy blue as being particularly green at all, but when you've got it on next to the boho blue and the navy, it does come across much more what, aqua turquoise -y than it does when it's just on its own. go and I realized the one thing I didn't cut for this card is a piece of white so I'll bring my trimmer back in and do that and I could make another Knight of Navy panel to put it on but I'm just going to cut it the same size as that Knight of Navy panel, which is seven and a half by 11 and a half. Okay. Now when I cut out, especially this um, this one with the rabbits, and then also this front one, I did look and see, I trimmed, I trimmed on all four sides to get the best positioning of the pattern, you know, to optimize that. 
you know, on, on this, it doesn't matter. You just cut the size you want because it's a uniform pattern all over. Does that make sense? So now this one goes on this panel. what happens when I get going live is I often get a step ahead of myself here. I meant to do some ribbon before I glued that down, but there are other ways to do it, so it's okay. So that's how it's going to look with all three panels on there. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the ribbon. So on this one, I wrap the ribbon around those two layers before I stuck that panel on. But I forgot to do that before I did this one. So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm gonna neaten that up just a little bit. my sticky tape trick. There we go. And then when I put this on here, it'll be covered up. But I'm, I'm still thinking about this if I want to put anything on there before, before I do too much else. So I am going to go ahead and see about putting a bow on there. Good morning, Christine. Thanks for joining me. Here in Melbourne, we've had summer and spring. And now it feels almost like we're back to winter. We've had yesterday and today full of rain and it's quite chilly again today, which is okay because I really, I really wasn't ready for it to be so summery. So I see a lot of times, um, here's my tip on, on ribbons. A lot of times I see people trimming off the ends and they're using the very tips and they don't get a very clean cut. You need to go further in on your shears or your ribbon scissors and then be really decisive to get a good clean cut. And then, oh, these keep sticking to me. Um, to make sure that stays exactly where I want it, because I can slide it up and down here wherever I want. I think maybe right about there. To not interfere with that, um, I'm gonna take a glue dot. I'm just going to put it on the back side of the knot. And it'll stay right there. Okay, so now with this guy. I'm thinking about the sentiment on there. Maybe 
maybe a flower or two. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see here. I've got some Night of Navy, and this is um, Sentimental Park. The stamp set that came with this suite of products is just outlines for um, for the countryside corners dies. So, there we go. So I'm going to other things for sentiments and images. these flowers again from Sentimental Park here and bring in boho blue now I am going to take a moment here because I do think it matters which way you stamp this That's it. There we go. So it is World Card Making Day on Saturday. And I am excited because it's going to be my first stamping event here at the new house. And we're going to stamp along with Stampin' Up's event. So tomorrow I get to prep all of the card packs, card kits for that. There, I like that. That came out okay. And get ready to figure out how to have everyone in this house. So, there we go. I, I don't have a bird. Um, we've got birds outside, which is such a nice, nice change. We have bird song all day long. Um, that one I think was a crow. We have lots of magpies. We've got lorikeets sometimes, which are very colorful and very noisy. Fortunately, they don't seem to be roosting right on our block. That's when they get super, super noisy at night when they go to settle in. Um, so there's that one. There's the prototype I made. Um, Noah likes sitting and watching 
the birds. We have one um, speckled dove. It's kind of a cross between a mourning dove and a pigeon. For those of you in North America, we have pigeons here too, but the mourning dove, I don't think so. But anyway, so think of something a lot like a mourning dove. Um, but that one likes to come and visit our back patio and drink out of the dog bowl we have <laughs> on the back patio. And Noah likes to lie down and watch him or her. So, yep, we're enjoying having more nature sounds than traffic sounds here. So that's what I have for you today. This one is very, very plain. This one is mostly plain, but a little bit. Um, like I said, on my next blog post, I will have measurements, both uh, metric and imperial for you to craft along. If you need anything from me, I'm Nancy at nancysniftynotes.com. Um, and I am happy to help you out with stamping questions, supplies in Australia, whatever you might need. So see you again next week. Hopefully I'll be able to go back to my horizontal orientation. But in the meantime, I hope you were able to see everything. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.